Drew Brees continued his record pace, and the Saints did something they hadn't done all season. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the Subway Post Game Show. Heading into Monday night, New Orleans was the only team in the NFL, 500 or better, that had not won consecutive games. Well, tying a franchise record with 51 points will go a long way in changing that. Second team of the weekend to hang at least half a hundred. Bills the other, 51-29 the final. That's an additional 80 points to the weekend, 837 total in the 16 games. That's the most ever in NFL history. As for this game, it was 24-21 at the half, but New Orleans opened up with a six-and-a-half minute drive and scored 21 third-quarter points, much in part thanks to Aaron Rodgers turning the ball over. None in the first half three in the second half and when you see that you know the Packers are going to lose five and six on the year and take a look at how different his numbers have been in their five victories compared to their six losses in the wins completing more than 70 percent of his passes and has thrown just one interception but in their six defeats touchdowns and interceptions are equal and he hasn't been protected sacked 20 times in those games compared to just three in the five wins. Meanwhile, his counterpart is chasing down Dan Marino's record for most yards in a single season 5084 in 84 is the mark, and Breeze continued on a pace to surpass that. So does Kurt Warner, by the way, out in Arizona. The New Orleans quarterback is averaging a shade under 325 a game for the year. Put that through 16 games, and you get to 5,200 yards, and that would be the record. And if the Saints keep winning, maybe you get the MVP there as well. But they do have a long way to go to get to the playoffs. It's 6-5, and five, most certainly is still in it, and a very dangerous squad to do it as well. But with that defense, despite the made plays on Monday, still very vulnerable. You don't even see them here on this graphic because they're just three and four against the NFC while everybody above them is a better conference record. And there's a couple things here. One opportunity because they play only NFC teams the rest of the way, but it also means they must win. Of the Saints remaining five games, four are against teams sitting in front of them in the playoffs, including three against the division. And there's something else to look out for. Saints are five and one this season at home, including the game in London, but just one and four on the road. And they still have to play at Tampa and at Chicago. All right, we'll, we'll say playing Detroit home or away shouldn't matter. That's their other away game. As for the Packers, they weren't on that NFC playoff list, but they're there because they're only a game back of Chicago and Minnesota in the NFC North. We'll see what they have to do. They have the Texans. They also have the Lions. But again, they are back of Chicago and Minnesota. So that'll do it for the Subway Post Game Show. But for more on this game or anything else from Week 12, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.